My name is Alexia Cadello. I'm a gastroenterologist. I'm originally from Queens, New York, and my education started out in New York. I have a bachelor's degree from New York University and my medical degree from St. George's University in Grenada. Um, my internal medicine training at uh, St. Uh, Joseph's Regional Medical Center in Patterson, New Jersey. And finally, gastroenterology uh, also at Seton Hall in New Jersey. And um, moved here to Connecticut in uh, January of 2007. Wanted to come, become a physician from when I was a little girl. So it took a, a very long time, a lot of hard work, and uh, when I did my internal medicine rotation, we were given electives. And so I rotated through um, a few of the other specialties like internal um, infectious diseases and pulmonary. Um, and I liked gastroenterology. When we, we sat down with uh, those gastroenterologists, they looked like they were relaxed and really um, fun, uh, fun to, to be around. Um, they cared a lot about the patients. And then when you got to see what they were doing throughout the day, they were just trying to figure out how to help patients digest their food, poop well, um, deal with any other complaints that came along. And um, what most people would com consider embarrassing, they were just free to talk about it. Um, so that drew me into it and I did my electives and I found it interesting to look inside the human body with a camera while the patients were asleep. So it kind of drew me into it and I was fortunate enough to get the uh, fellowship uh, in it. And now coming to work, I do the same thing they do. They, I look inside people's bodies and figure out why they have diarrhea or, or why they have abdominal pain. But um, it's uh, a pleasure to figure things out and not really hurt patients in the process, just try to help them. We were taught early on, you have to listen to the patient. So when I have a a patient in front of me, I ask, tell me why you're here. And I'll listen as long as they're willing to tell me and dissect through what I think is um, the problem or at least give me clues as to what I should be looking for. And um, I think that gives a sense of trust because I'm not interrupting them. I'm basically asking them to tell me their story. And um, while they're talking, I'm actually forming my own differential as to what it is. And then when it's my turn to let them know, I basically explain what tests are needed to further investigate. So whether it's a CAT scan or a colonoscopy or just simple blood work, um, we come up with a plan together. So there's a trust there um, to figure it out. And if it's a medicine that will help or if it's just changing the diet or taking a laxative, it's simple enough to uh, figure out. And I think that long term, um, not only do you have their trust, but you have their respect. So they'll bring their sister or their mother or their husband with you know, the next visit and try to fix what problems they have that deal with digestion. So it's um, nice to have that. I don't, I don't get isolated to one group of people. I bring, they usually bring in the family um, to, to treat their issues. So um, that's my philosophy, is not to order different tests, but just guide it and select what the patient really needs. So far, being uh, at uh, ECHN for the past seven years, um, I've found that anything we need uh, regarding CAT scans or lab work uh, is done right away. There's no delay. We, we can schedule a patient that needs it urgently or electively. And uh, on the hospital side, I think they've tried their best to uh, improve what we find may be a problem. And what I mean by that is if um, there's an area that doesn't have a laboratory and patients have to travel far, um, they've seen the, the demand and they'll set up a laboratory for us there. Um, when it comes to inpatient um, procedures, they've upgraded and um, pretty much um, purchased or leased new equipment. So everything is um, updated in a timely fashion. So we have the newest technology. So we have the new scopes as of two weeks ago. We have the flat screen, high definition monitors. Anything where it comes to improving patient care um, in endoscopy is always addressed uh, appropriately. And I find that to be very much an asset to keeping patients here because if I can't offer them the same as everywhere else, they'll go somewhere else. So it's nice to tell them you can have the same equipment here, you have you know, nice doctors here, so if you'd prefer to stay, we'll take care of you here. Like I said, I'm originally from New York and I followed my uh, then fiance to a place called Tolland, Connecticut. 
and um, it turned out that Tolland happens to be a nice, quaint New England town. And we um, settled there, we got married, have two little girls, and uh, formed lots of friends. So now we see the fall colors, we have uh, kids playing in the yard, a couple of acres where it's just so quiet. So we're living the town life near the cities of Boston and Hartford and um, enjoy the best of both worlds. Both of us are physicians, so we work hard and we relax, and that's pretty much what we wanted. So um, the goals are to just enjoy your family, enjoy coming to work, enjoy seeing patients feel better. That's pretty much what we signed up for, so we'll be around for a while.